طبعا هذه انتم ما سالتوني ليش؟ لان المباراه اليوم متوقف عليها شيء كبير والكويت وصلوا حتى لا سمح الله لو خسر منتخب الكويت الوطني. Doubtful spelling there Ricky Hibbert's name but how ان شاء الله ما يحدث وان شاء الله ما يحدث طبعا راح يكون ايضا كولا بيلعبها رمي التماس على طول اللعب كره في عرض الملعب. And so our English speaking commentary is coming through to us now. We're hearing Alan Perry for the first time, and that will be with you very shortly. Well, there's an early chance for Kuwait. They hit the post from inside the 18 yard box. And at this exciting stage of the game, we can tell you that. Uh, Alan Perry's commentary circuit is through, and so let's join him now at a very excited Quadisha Stadium. Alan Perry is back now with us with the English commentary from Kuwait. A dangerous pullback. The crowd urging him to go forward, and Bobby Allman held his ground well. But still the danger. Oh, and that's a fine flick through. Oh, and as well, he missed his kick, and a fine save by Wilson. What a fine save that was from Belushi. A lovely build-up by Q8, and no wonder the crowd are on their feet cheering that. It was Naim who played the ball through. Belushi tried to hit it first time on the volley, missed his kick. The ball fell kindly for him a second time, and Wilson produced a superb save. And a few of them will be going to Spain with their team. This corner comes over. Well, that was a good header on the far post and not so very far off target. The corner coming in from the right and Grant Turner climbing highest of all. It evaded the players on the near post. Grant Turner on the edge of the goal area, climbing high and uh, did well to get any kind of header in then. And what a shame it wasn't a yard or two closer to target. I also feel they have a duty to China to play up to capacity. Oh, that wasn't a bad effort, was it, by Belushi? Goodness me, that must have been 35 to 40 yards out. Easy for Naeem. But New Zealand building again. What a good tackle that was by Sumner. Not a bad effort either. Tarabulsi again. Dramatic save. But uh, really, Sumner did so well with that shot. There seemed to be nothing on. He won the ball well in the tackle. And from fully 25 yards out, really cracked that one right-footed. Terrible C made another spectacular stop. Sumner, the skipper, will leave it. And then receives it short from Armand. Played in by Sumner. Good-looking ball. Grant Turner's header towards Rupert. And that was a fine effort by the young man. There really looked to be nothing at all on then. And Terrible C again was uh, right behind it. Including members of the Q8 army, several of whose members are in the fight. Put in the corner, not a good one. Low and flat and easily cleared. Armand has to reach that, and a fatal slip. And it's one against one here. Dodd's trying desperately to get back. Wilson comes out to narrow the angle. Oh, what a great save that was by Richard Wilson. And for the second time in the first half, Richard Wilson is the saviour of New Zealand. A fatal slip by Bobby Armand. Wilson really... The odds were all against him. Dodds did well to get back and cut any kind of angle out at all. Armand slipping on the turf. It could so easily have led to a goal. Brian Turner picks it forward. On again towards Grant Turner. And he has a marvellous opportunity and he scores! It's a goal for New Zealand, but the linesman's flag has been raised and the referee has ruled it out. Now, was he offside or was there a suspicion of handball? and the linesman seeming to indicate that it was handball. Grant Turner's finishing then was perfect, but we can see again. Now, did he use his arm to control it? That's his with ease, I told. And that, that was a good ball though. Here's Dodd, won it well, under again. Good ball for Wood in. Three men in the middle for him here. Important he makes a cross. He tried a shot and it wasn't a bad effort and a good save by Tarabulsi. Well, in the first 15 minutes, and indeed with that breakaway a few minutes ago, it may have been Q way too threatened. Corner conceded, and but he was taken. Good looking one, Wilson comes and it's in. 
Barthi has scored a critical goal and the local hero gets it. Barthi gives Kuwait the lead with just five minutes to go to half time. Andrew's corner floated over high. Barthi climbed higher than the defenders. It was a good header and for once Wilson was beaten. So two of the defenders on the line and Kuwait go in front and what an important goal that could be for New Zealand's face. Greeted with joy by the 40,000 crowd. Good Armand. Rupert. What a nice step he's had this young boy. I wonder Norwich City are interested in playing him. Got Cole on his right. You didn't see him then. Could have been experienced. Faithful tackle by Dodds. And then by Thunder. And he still has the ball. But then was a little bit too clever. Here's Cole. A good skill that, uh, and a fine turn too towards the far side. Grant Turner getting in for the umpteenth time. The header, oh, I'm afraid, coming off target. His watch is the one that counts. And it shows the time is up in the first half. So, New Zealand don't even have time to take that throw in and go in at half time, trailing by a goal to nil. There may have been some disturbance in the crowd. We couldn't see as Farpy scored the goal and here he is again the clearance Norman we want to find one too because he's set Brian Turner loose on his own he's got three Q80 defenders between him and the goal and really has to check back then the ball whacked in hard and low looking for Rupa doesn't find him but it does find Steve Woodin who did well and really had there been anybody on the end of that for a touch Brian Turner was the nearest man to the far post that might have produced something Steve Woodin Screwing that left foot cross across the face of the Q8 goal. See Sumner on the goal line. Put in corner comes in. Oh, it's a fine header that was by Roof, but he holds his head in his hand because I think he feels that he might have at least got a strike on target then, Winston Rooper. It was a good corner by Woodin. And look at that good climb by Rooper. He got up well, but a little bit of an experience perhaps. He didn't really get his header close enough to target may feel that that's a missed opportunity. The pressure from Q8, Naeem. Good looking ball. It comes to Nazar. Wilson in and a good save. Armand clear, but not all the way. And the shot uh, wouldn't have counted anyway because the linesman had his flag up for offside. Not finding him. It's a hard and bouncy pitch. Ball control has to be instant. This is one man who has that, Steve Sumner. Would it? Quite a good game today. Fine ball in to Sumner. Can he pull it back for a cross? He can. Oh, and that was so unlucky. Winston Rupert really almost got his legs entangled as he went in on the near post. Good build up that with Woodin and Sumner involved down the left. And you can see how close Winston Rupert was. Well, we know the danger the corners can produce comes to the near post and it hit the angle and once again danger there for all to see a faithful back-headed it on a position on the near post Richard Wilson came anticipating the header and as you can see it smashed the outside of the post space just wouldn't open up for him but here's Rupert again good looking ball in towards Sumner who went down under a challenge it comes to Grant Turner and the shot blocked and cleared. The referee has given the free kick. Perhaps it was not the right decision because New Zealand was still in possession. The free kick on the left. That's this an opportunity in the second half. I understand that we've lost the picture temporarily. Well, Steve Sumner has hit a marvellous goal for New Zealand. An absolutely magnificent goal by the skipper. Sumner from 25 yards, rifles a shot, right-footed, high into the corner of the Q80 net, and New Zealand are back in the picture with a vengeance. What an absolutely brilliant goal that was by the skipper. A free kick taken quickly and taken short to Sumner, and from 25 yards, it was Sumner who whacked it high into the corner of the net. A fabulous goal, and it's brought New Zealand back into this game. Q8 won, New Zealand won, a right-footed shot, high into the net and now New Zealand are back in the World Cup picture and on the attack again midway inside the half 
turned forward towards winning. Rupa nearly on the end of it. It comes again. Here's Rupa. Can he turn and get in a shot? Oh, he scored! Winston Rupa has scored and New Zealand has taken the lead with two goals in the space of 90 seconds. What a turnaround. What drama here in Kuwait. Just as the World Cup seemed to be fading away from New Zealand, draft, two goals in under 90 seconds have brought them dramatically back to life. The young man, Winston Rooper, in his first ever World Cup tie, turns, puts the ball into the net. Ball with Kuwait on the halfway line. Massive overhead kick. And uh, on the attack, midway inside the half. He has got through on the edge of the penalty area. Keeps his tool. Can he get in a shot? He's still got the ball inside the box. Lays it back. And a great save by Wilson. Still the danger not gone. And Wilson makes another dramatic save. And Wilson really has been an absolute saviour of New Zealand tonight. Twice then, in the space of five seconds, he was brilliant. Barty assisted. Did well to keep his feet. Knocked away one four by Ormond. There'll be some late pressure. You can bank on that. And here's the substitute. Tall, gangly looking player, but he is Naeem, another tall man, party, scorer of the goal. And the referee surely has whistled. Well, that seemed like a moment frozen in time. The New Zealand player seemed to stand still thinking that the referee had whistled for what looked like an offside decision, but the whistle never came. Typical Brazilian style tactics, no doubt caught them by their Brazilian coach, trying to disturb the concentration of New Zealand's defensive wall with all the pointing. Tap for Fatal. Good effort. Point at the bar. Turned it again and wide. Well, I know that New Zealand feel that fortune has been a commodity they've had little of previously in this World Cup qualifying series. But they had it at that moment then. Well, what a great moment for luck to be on your side. The ball tapped short for Fatal. He really whacked that one right footed. Smash against the crossbar with Wilson hopelessly beaten. And the clearance, or rather the loose ball, was whacked wide by Farty. Naeem to Ambari. It's a good looking cross, I must say. Oh, God's really getting himself in a terrible mess. And they were claiming that he handled the ball then. The Kuwaiti players turned almost as one to the referee, claiming that Dodds had knocked that ball down with his hand. But the referee has waved play on. Walid again. Still has it. Half cleared. Oh, and that was a vital clearance by Bobby Armand. And Wilson, did he prevent it going for a corner? He didn't, no. Well, this is hard than the mouse time. By my watch, we have less than a minute and a half to go. New Zealand have conceded a corner. They're 2 1 up. And it comes Wilson making a good punch. Played so well today. Under pressure so often, he has done so well that New Zealand have conceded another corner. The seconds ticking by. I make it, we're into the final 60 seconds of normal time. As another corner comes over, Wilson climbing high again. Didn't reach it. It's gone in. It's gone in. Two ways have scored a late equaliser. Oh, what a terrible, terrible blow. What a terrible setback for New Zealand. In the final 60 seconds of the match, that corner knocked on by Sammy, the tall central defender. The touch was all that was needed. The ball has gone into the net, and all of a sudden, it looks as though New Zealand celebrations have been cut dramatically short in the dying seconds of this match. Sammy got the final touch on. It was all that was needed, and it's now Kuwait 2, New Zealand 2. Who's kick it is? I think Faisal's going to try a long shot. Indeed, he does straight at the wall. And that is the final whistle. And what a setback. What a terrible, terrible tragedy for New Zealand. Richard Wilson, in particular, looks so dejected. So do all the New Zealand players.